Someone linked me this. Is Showmaker hitting Humanoid with skill shots or something? I think it was on Reddit. Coming into the mid game, and that's not something that Mad Lions have done that often across this world. It's definitely oh. a weak early game team where their team fighting allowing them to shine later on. Yeah, I think that when we kind of look at how their early game has gone, Mad's early game definitely has not been the strongest. You just kind of take a comparison. And Atlantean Syndra is goaded. The they do win a lot, but they take they always take first tower. They average a 3k gold lead <laughs> at 15 that's minutes. That's terrifying. Like they they average two kills. Should I make his Syndra is impeccable, and that, I have two. 2000 Syndra games, and he's so good at it. In the stats. And interestingly, you see a lot of seconds there for Darmon. The only team better than them is uh, T1. So <laughs> LCK dominance seems to be coming back on the menu right now. Kaizo and Kazi getting pushed out here. The Arcane Comet on Ghost with that make it rain. What if he EQs? Yeah, absolutely. Really just kind of itemizing there, rather ruining for the lane. And Showmaker has just been hitting Q oh. after Q after Q on Humanoid, and he probably has to go back to base here. He's actually out of Corrupting Potion Charges. He wants to stick around and actually save and try yeah, to get that, that wave, beautiful. but it's, it's getting a little bit dicey there for Humanoid in mid. So this ward will spot out Alioi's positioning as he has decided to do a full topside clear. Meanwhile, Canyon started on his red, pathing up towards the topside. But really good damage coming out from Showmaker in the early game. Syndra is one of those champions that in the early game, especially into an Orianna, I was kind of surprised to see the Orianna come out from Humanoid because in the 1v1, it's not the strongest as you see more trading in bot lane. Ignite down onto Bell, of course. You can solo here. Jump away. No, oh, actually, wasn't the Ignite. Sorry, Kaiser still has that. I thought he used Ignite yeah, as well. Yeah, it did look like it, but wasn't burned. Man, he has just been relentless in this laning phase. I think almost oh every my single days. Shot, Armut dangerously low here. Khan actually winning the early levels. Does Shomaki go for the solo or not? Been very good at actually hitting the center of the step step. He's actually... Harass down armor means that armor's gonna have to burn his TP early. So is Humanoid, and Humanoid already takes the chunk. Canyon in a good position here for what could be the first gank of the game. Doesn't land it. The Shomaki low on mana will just back away. And we'll even things out a little bit up on the top side. He's actually just had the perfect early lane. He's only missed two Qs. In the laning phase as well, but definitely something to be concerned about as well. Keep my eyes on Canyon as well. Three. Because that mid lane is always that point that's very, very scary for the man lines, especially with how Shoemaker is playing. Um, and remember that when you kind of have this Graves versus uh, Lee Sin matchup, Graves just kind of wants to focus on power farming, wants to make sure that you can kind of scale up. Uh, whereas Ganking... You're going to get locked up with a stun flash. Is away. The flash, we'll pings the flash, dude. I mean, you want to teach someone how to lane? This is probably the video you should show them, right? Like, this is how you should be playing all your lanes. Every single time that Humanoid was going for any fucking CS, he couldn't breathe. Showmaker was just putting Qs and autos in his face. Pretty sexy. Usually a good mid laner like Humanoid will be able to dodge out a lot more Qs. Like, I feel it's just like, once Showmaker gets the read and he's in your head, it just seems like you, you, you can't fucking dodge. He's always dodging behind though. He's never doing cocky movements and moving in. Like, just, as soon as you start lacking confidence in that matchup, you just plummet. Doesn't it matter on the matchups? It does. Syndra hard beats Orianna in the early game. Syndra is a winning matchup into Orianna hard. It's a great counter pick. But even then, a good Orianna will be able to survive. Like, a good Orianna won't get dicked like that at all. It won't be that bad. Like... Showmaker had the edge, but it shouldn't it shouldn't be like how that how bad that was. No shot. 